Jonathan. Thank you, Martin. Um, just to echo uh, Peter's opening comments there, um, if you do go down the route of option two, then we will do everything we can to support the replacement of Wickham's current library with uh, a volunteer library. Um, it's not necessarily something that we want to do, but uh, a volunteer library is better than no library. And uh, that therefore, you have our assurance that we will do everything we can to create the help, set it up, and ensure that it's uh, sustainable into the future. And it's a sustainability generally about the library service that I want to refer to, not, not any particular option here, but about moving forward. I think my, my criticism of where we are at the moment is that we have done another review uh, and we're about to implement it and we already appreciate that that review is not going to give us a sustainable uh, library service. So we're then going to go into another review, uh, which will then presumably end up with the uh, uh, replacement of more of our libraries with volunteer libraries. And it still won't be sustainable at the end of that. Now we've known since September, or, 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 sorry, since autumn 2015, that by 2020-21 uh, we're going to have no money from the government. Uh, and that should be the starting point uh, from, for this exercise. We need a vision <clears throat> of what the library service is going to be in three or four years' time so that we can then work backwards from that and build towards it. Because at the moment, all we're doing is slowly slicing the library service to fit in with the next year's budget, knowing that it's not going to be sustainable. And the result is that communities are being picked against <coughs> communities, libraries against libraries, but under the, the way that we're doing this now. Uh, and wards um, on one side of the borough are being pitted against wards on the other side. Uh, and it's just a completely unreasonable... I'm sorry, unreasonable is the wrong word, but I, I think the unintended consequences of the exercise that we're going through is that it's causing divisions uh, unnecessarily. And what we need is the vision for 2021. Uh, and it may be some very uncomfortable decisions have to be taken, or we'll probably taking uncomfortable decisions. But, but we need to take, we need to be building now towards <coughs> the network which reflects the situation that we know we are going to be in in four years time, three, four years time. So that means looking at things like uh, the whole of the branch network. Uh, is it going to survive? Is it better that we move towards a volunteer network with some professional support for all the volunteer libraries? The central library is not a central library. It's a ship help. It's a very large ship help library. The location of that, and uh, uh, Paul uh, touched on it in his presentation, but that seriously needs to be looked at because if it was more central, perhaps in this building or in a building in town, the town centre, then you could genuinely call it a comprehensive library service because it, it's accessible uh, to the whole of the borough. Whereas at the moment, I think you'd be hard pressed to be able to make that, that point. And if we have a, 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 an end view in sight and a structure in sight, then we've got three years to work towards it in all areas. It would apply to all areas rather than just knocking out one or two libraries a year, we can actually work towards over a three year period what that end structure should be. But at the moment we're just sort of move, moving from one, well it's, it's almost like we're in a, a sort of permanent state of consultation uh, and at the end of each consultation there's no permanent structure, there's no vision and that's what we've got to sort and that's what I, that, that would be my plea to the council is forget about doing a, a review just to take us to the into 2018 take have us have a review that's going to take us to 2021